Hello viewers, welcome back to another tutorial and today we're going to be learning how to make a space background using GIMP 2.10. Right, first things first, go file, new, and make a new image. Uh, we're going to make this a 1080p image just for simplicity's sake. Go into the advanced options before you hit OK and change it from 8-bit to 16-bit. That way we won't have any banding issues later on. Okay, just quickly change the background from white to black like so. And we're going to make a new layer. New layer, new layer. We're going to call this stars. This is going to be our small stars. We're going to go to filter, render, noise, cell noise. And put the scale anywhere between one and two, whatever you want, depending on how many small stars you want. I don't want a whole lot in this, so I'm just going to set it to probably 1.3 like so, hit OK. I'm gonna go to layer, no, colors, sorry. Colors, invert, colors, levels. And we're just gonna bring the levels down to a point where we get a bunch of tiny white dots, like so. So around that, it's pretty good, hit OK. So next we're gonna be adding some dark patches in the image just to create a bit more distance in between the stars and just add a little bit more depth overall. So, layer, new layer, we're gonna call this space. And we're gonna go back to the cell texture. So render, noise, cell noise. Except this time we're gonna put the scale all the way down to 0.2 or 0.3 around there. And we're just gonna hit the seed button a couple of times. Hit okay. We're gonna go to colors. Invert, colors, curves, and we're just gonna bring down the curves a little bit and put the contrast up as well. Okay, hit okay. And if we set the blending mode to multiply, you can see that all the dark areas in this texture have now become void of stars and all the bright areas are now becoming clusters of stars. So I'm happy with how that looks. So we're gonna merge these two layers together by right clicking on the space layer and merging it down. Next, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of glow to these stars. So right click, duplicate, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm gonna blur it about three and a half, should do it. Set the blending mode up here to screen. And we're gonna turn the opacity down a little bit to like, 40 or 30 and there we go that's our small stars done our next task is to add our what i like to call space clouds it's like the misty layer that you get whenever you look at any sort of rendering of space yeah it just kind of looks like clouds basically so i'm just going to call them space clouds because i never listened in my science class so we're going to go layer new layer we're going to call this space clouds hit OK, and we're going to go to filter, render, noise, solid noise, and we're just going to hit the seed button a couple of times, hit OK, we're going to go to colors, down to colorize, and this is when you get to toy around with the different colors of your image. So I'm thinking I'm going to have a blue space background with a yellow or orange sun. So I'm just gonna bring this color right down, make it a dark, deep blue, like that. As you can see, there's a lot of banding going on, but don't worry, hit okay, okay. And we're just gonna duplicate that process another two times, except we're gonna change the settings around a little bit. So we're gonna do Space Clouds 2, the sequel, and we're gonna to go to filter, render, noise, solid noise. And I'm just gonna turn the scale up and unchain and just do that and add a little bit of detail. So for every layer of cloud you add, just increase the size and add a few levels of detail and change the colors a little bit. So colors, colorize, and I'm gonna set this to like more of a darkish purple like that hit okay hit okay 
And I'm just going to do this a third time real quick. I'm just going to skip to when I've done it. There we go. So we have our three cloud textures like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set all of them to screen. And then we're going to turn down the opacity to about 50%. And just do that for all three of these layers here. Like that. And screen. Down like that. And here we go. We have our general like space fog background. So I'm just going to turn this down a little bit more. Okay. So next we're going to add the slightly bigger stars. Not the huge you know, like sun-like star that we have, but just slightly bigger stars than what we have here. So layer, new layer, just going to call this bigger stars. And we're going to take a paintbrush, a white paintbrush, um, use the brush that's 100% hardness and set the size anywhere between two to five. So I'm just going to set it to three and I'm just going to add a few more of my own dots like this. So this is just a few like just larger dots to further increase the variety that we have. And also you can use this like in some examples I've shown to actually write out a text in the in the stars. But for this for this tutorial I'm just gonna show you just a few just a couple of dots hanging around like that okay and I'm gonna add some glow to this as well so we're gonna duplicate filter blur Gaussian blur I'm gonna set this a bit higher than before probably around seven I'm gonna set it to screen and we're just gonna turn the opacity down okay we're almost finished so our next step is going to be adding our large star or our close-up sun. So we're going to go to layer, new layer. We're going to call this our star or your sun, whatever you want to call it. Why not both? And we're going to go to filter, light and shadow, supernova. And as I said before, I'm going to go for a orange one. Hit OK. Um, Turn the spokes almost all the way down to below 20. I'm going to set mine to probably like nine. Yep, that looks good. And I'm going to put it over here on the bottom left in this gap here. And uh, turn the radius up a little bit. Hit OK. And there you go. You can finish it right here. And I'm sure most of you will be 100% happy with this. Um, I'm just going to add one final finishing touch myself. So I'm going to add some small bits of discoloration throughout this. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm just going to call this new layer color. We're going to go to filter, render, noise, plasma. And... If you play with this seed here, if you're going for like a blue galaxy, try and hit the seed until you get something that's pretty blue. Um, I've got like a mixture of blue and yellow. So I'm going to try and find one that closely resembles blue and yellow. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to blur the texture to make it look like it's kind of smudged paint, I guess. So to do that, I'm going to go to filter, blur, linear motion blur set the length to probably between 60 and 100 hit ok and we're gonna change the blending mode from normal to overlay and you can see what it's doing here it's adding slight hints of green and yellow and red and personally i just like how it looks with all these different colors mixed in so i'm going to move it underneath our sun and then I'm going to bring down the opacity to around 50. It's it's nothing crazy, but it's just a little detail. And, you know, little details can go a long way. 
So that brings this tutorial to a close. Hopefully you learned something and you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, that's it from me. I'm Hayden and goodbye viewers.